Hi, in this video, we are going to see how you can configure Google Tag Manager web container on your Shopify store. There are going to be three things that we are going to do. We are going to set up Google Tag Manager container on the user front end. We are also going to set up Google Tag Manager on the final thank you pages so you can track events such as purchase. And we are also going to set up Google Tag Manager container on the upsell tracking pages. There are some nuances when it comes to tracking upsell purchases with Google Tag Manager. So that is also being addressed in the same video. There are two prerequisites of this video. You need to have a google tag manager account and a shopify store if you don't have google tag manager account you can start the video from the beginning otherwise you can skip to this time frame let's jump to my computer so we can start right away i want my shopify store and right now we don't have any kind of google tag manager containers on this store you can see using this google tag assistant legacy chrome extension the link for this extension can be found in the video description where you can download it you can head over to google tag manager container i already have some accounts therefore i can see multiple containers right now however you won't have have anything if this is your new google tag manager account you can click on create account on the top right corner then enter the name of the company or the business that you own we are just going to go with a dummy business in the container you are going to set up the url of the website i'm just going to go with trackingacademy.com one account can have multiple containers and one container can be used on multiple domains. However, it is really necessary that you use one Google Tag Manager container on one business. That means if you have one Shopify store and the same store bring traffic from two or three different stores, you can use one Google Tag Manager container to send the traffic back to the same analytics account. You can hit create and then accept the terms and conditions of Google. Then you will be redirected to the overview page of Google Tag Manager account. By default, it will show you the tracking snippets that you need to place on your website. However, you can cross this page and go to the admin section of the Google Tag Manager web container. Under the container settings, you will find the option of install Google Tag Manager container where you can find the same snippet. These snippets are JavaScript code that we are going to place on the website. Once these codes are on the website, they will track the traffic on all the pages of the Shopify store. There are two pieces of the Google Tag Manager web container tracking snippets. One is the head container and the other one is the body code snippet. We are going to copy the head snippet and head back to the backend of the Shopify store. You are going to go to the online store and the themes. By default, whenever you click on online stores, it will redirect you to the themes, but you just need to make sure that you are on the themes section. Right next to the customize, you will find three dots and you can click on edit code option. This will take you to the back end of the code where you can edit any kind of code that I would highly recommend you to create a duplicate copy of your theme before making any changes. So in case you mess something up, you can go back to the original work. You're going to navigate to the theme section and right under the head, you're going to paste the code that you have copied. Now go back to the Google Tag Manager's code snippets and copy the body tag. Go back to the themes and now we are going to look for the body tag. You can hit Ctrl F or Command F to search and then search for body. This will redirect you to the body tag. Uh, this can be on a different line on your page depending on what kind of theme you are using or how customized your theme is. I'm going to create some space and paste the code here. I'm going to hit format code. It will just prettify the code. It is not a necessary step as sometimes you might see a warning up. Once that is done, I'm going to hit save and this will save the Google Tag Manager code snippets on the theme file. Now, if we go back to the website and hit refresh on the page, you will see that we have a Google Tag Manager container on the website and it is the same container ID. So right now, if we go to any page on the website, we are going to see the Google Tag Manager container is firing. So let's head to a different page on of the catalog and we can see that the Google Tag Manager container is also firing on this page. This is all good, but this code is not going to fire on the final thank you page. So we need to go back to the Shopify store, head over to the settings section and go to checkout. Scroll all the way down where you can find additional script. We are going to paste the head snippet of the Google Tag Manager container in this additional script section and hit this section will capture all the purchase event and any kind of interaction that you want to do on the final thank you page. You need to make sure that you still need to add the additional code for purchase event, but this is how you can track any kind of event action on Google Tag Manager container on the final thank you page. However, if you're using any kind of upsell apps such as reconvert or zipify upsell or things like that, then the checkout process is not that simple. The user is not redirected from your store directly to the final checkout page. However, they are in between an upsell page. If you want to track the user on that upsell page, you need to make sure that your Google Tag Manager container is also firing on that upsell page. So in order to do that, when you're on the bottom of the page, just scroll a little up where you will find 
an option for additional script. You're going to paste the Google Tag Manager head container code in the additional script section and this will work just fine. You might be wondering why we are not using this Google Tag Manager body container code. The only reason we are not using it anymore because we don't have a, such a body section in the final thank you page. Every code in the final thank you page fires through a sandbox and sandbox only allows the main JavaScript code. So we don't actually need the body snippet code. However, if you want, you can still have the code on the final thank you pages and it should still work fine. But it is not something that is required or necessary to track all the events on this. Now we have configured Google Tag Manager container on the website and if you want to configure Google Analytics 4 so you can track all the user interaction on the GA4 account, refer to this video 